Hi, it's Jonathan. Welcome to ABCD. Today we're going to do shin stake and Blackmore tube insertion. And this is for critically unwell patients. So your patient will be intubated before you start. And have them head up to 30 degrees. This is the tube and uh, you'll see it's a multi-lumen tube. Our shin stake and Blackmore tube has a guide wire. They don't all have guide wires, but all of them have similar features. They'll have a, uh, a gastric balloon, an esophageal balloon, and these have got two sampling ports, and there's a suction port here, and there's a guide wire port. The gastric balloon takes 250 mils of air, and the esophageal balloon if you need to insert it, you'll insert it up to 30 millimetres of mercury. So the actual volume is variable. Before you put the tube in, just test that your gastric balloon is working. Here we go. So that's the gastric balloon. That's got 20 mils in it. And then you can test the esophageal balloon in the same way. That's the esophageal balloon. The second Blackmore tube is a orogastric tube. So you're going to put it in the mouth and feed it down. If you need to use McGill's forceps to feed it around the corner, be careful you don't rupture the balloons. So the, the tube would go in, in this patient, and it's going to go in to 50 centimetres at the lip. Once the tube's in, inflate the gastric balloon to 50 mils of air. Pull the balloon back until it anchors and then take an x-ray to make sure that the balloon is below the diaphragm. Once you know the balloon's below the diaphragm, you can remove the guide wire from this particular tube and then fully inflate your gastric balloon to 250 mils of air. In most cases, that'll tamponade the bleeding from the varices. To secure the tube, just make a tie around the tube, make a loop. Pass it through. And you can secure that to a 500 mil bag of saline and hang it over an IV pole. So that'll provide traction on the sense they can black more tube. Once that's in place, use this, the gastric suction port to empty the stomach and that may well have stopped the bleeding and you may have control at this point. Now in cases where that doesn't work, you need to inflate the esophageal balloon. This is done by inflating the esophageal lumen. And in this case, we're gonna inflate it to a pressure, not a volume. And the pressure using a manometer will be 30 millimeters of mercury. Once that's in, hopefully your bleeding has stopped. Shen stake and back more tube insertion. Have your patient intubated. Identify the lumens, check balloons. The distance for insertion will be 50 centimetres. Insert and inflate the gastric balloon to 50 mils of air. Confirm the position with an X-ray. Remove the guide wire. Then fully inflate the gastric balloon to 250 mils of air. Anchor the tube by tying it to a 500 mil saline bag for weight. Then consider inflating the esophageal balloon to 30 millimetres of mercury pressure. And that's how you insert the Shinstack and Blackmore tube.